This video was digitized from a reel of silent 8mm film. It is of LST-529, which was also the USS Cayuga County. And this is in San Diego, in, which I believe is 1952. The, the film manufacturer date was 1952, so 52-53. Uh, and you can see at the beginning here, it's actually one of the, uh, the service members on the Cayuga uh, County. Uh, it's it's his family. I think his wife and kids coming to uh, to visit him as they as they pull in, and you'll see them uh, towards the end of the film. And uh, from here, they go to the San Diego Zoo and spend the day, uh, which I have on, you know, on other video, but not on this film. And uh, the uh, uh, the Cayuga County actually didn't get its name until 1955. Up until that point, it was just LST-529. And it, uh, she was a uh, an LST-491 class tank landing uh, ship. And she was commissioned in 1944. And she saw service during World War II and it was assigned to the European theater and actually participated in the invasion of Normandy, D-Day, in uh, June of 1944. And then in 1946, she was decommissioned. Uh, and then as a result of hostilities in Korea, she was recommissioned in 1950. And there she took part in the uh, summer fall offensive in July, August 1951, uh, the second Korean winter, December 51 through March 52, and the Korean summer campaign of 1953, uh, June uh, to July. So this is probably her coming back from one of those two latter deployments in either 51 through 52 or in the summer of 50, 53. And even after the Korean War, she, she still uh, hung around in Korea in, uh, till 1954, and then she came back to the state. And uh, then uh, she remained there until she was transferred to the Republic of Vietnam in 1963, where she saw service as the Thai Ne, uh, HQ 502. And then uh, she was uh, there until the uh, fall of Saigon. And then she was transferred to the Philippine Navy in 1975, and she became the PBR Tabato del Sur, LT-87. And she served with the Philippine Navy until she was scrapped in 2003. And you can you know, clearly see in this video uh, that she's definitely coming back from some sort of point deployment, you know, with, with the, with all the running rust and just the, you know, the wear and tear on her, uh, which which you know she, she wouldn't have been able to to receive any type of yard maintenance or anything like that while she was in Korea. So they would wait wait until she got back here to San Diego to start performing all that. So you can definitely see she uh, she had been 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 weathered a little bit uh, and before coming back here to uh, to San Diego. And as her name implies, being an LST, her uh, basically there's two doors up there on her bow that would open up, and uh, you know uh, she would basically you know pull up to the shore and and beach the bow and uh, open up her doors and then offload whatever uh, uh, equipment she had, you know LST uh, meaning a landing ship tank, so. Uh, tank, but you know, could be any, could have been anything, uh, jeeps, personnel, uh, uh, armor personnel carriers, anything like like that, cargo. Uh, so yeah, so she she would have definitely been uh, up up towards the uh, the front there in Korea and uh, participating in whatever landings they needed uh, to. To move uh, to move men and machinery. As I mentioned at the beginning, here's the uh, the wife and kids that that filmed the uh, the Cuyahoga County coming into uh, the port here 
and this is them with uh, with her husband and the crew member of uh, the Cahuilla County. And then from here, they're off to the San Diego Zoo. But just a, a great uh, a, a great piece of naval history here, and definitely a LST history. I hope you enjoyed this piece of history and uh, like and subscribe if you'd uh, like to see more military and patriotic videos, which I uh, I'd upload uh, every other day on my site. And uh, if you're interested in a, uh, a good read, check out my books at uh, www.edsemler.com.